Hello everyone! Welcome back to Royalty Soaps and another video in the 2021 Girl World Collection. Now for those of y'all who are new around here, and there seems to be quite a few of you in the last two months or so, welcome! I like popcorn. I Now I don't like sugary popcorn, I don't like kettle corn, I don't like the cheesy popcorn. I just like microwave in the bag popcorn or movie theater popcorn. This has been something that has been going on since I was like 13 or 14, popcorn's just my thing. And because I was putting together a huge collection of all the things that make me happy and inspire me and really just boost my serotonin, we are gonna be making a pastel popcorn soap today. Also, as an aside, I use the fragrance Buttery Popcorn from Nature's Garden. And while that sounds like something that would be really odd in a soap, like I understand, this is a strange soap smell, last time I used it, it was our best seller of the month and I got so many requests to bring it back because it just works for some reason. So I'm gonna be using some of that today. It's gonna be great. I know it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to put the drizzle on. I hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, so let's get started with the base of this soap. Now fair warning, the whole portion of this video that has me making the soap base in the loaves is going to be sped up and there's gonna be music over it because it's just kind of a tedious process. There's lots of layers and they're the same colors so it'll be fun to see in fast motion but it wouldn't be fun to hear me talk about it. It would take forever. So the first thing I have to do is pour my lye water solution into my oil Oils. The recipe I'm using today is down in the description box below, 100% free for you to use with your soaps at home. And without further ado, we'll blend up this soap. Before we start pouring layers or anything, I have to actually split the batter into five equal portions. Okay, so all of these pitchers have roughly the same amount in them. And in addition to the colorants that I will be adding, I will also be adding my secret sauce fragrance oil blend. This blend will hitherto be known as pastel popcorn. It is a popcorn blend with sweet candy, vanilla, sugar, and a little bit of caramel. Also, yes, it does kind of smell like popcorn, but it also kind of smells like candy and more specifically cotton candy. So I'm going to move the soaps that I'm not using over to the side right now. We're gonna focus on the first layer. And then for the color today, we're adding in some titanium dioxide, making sure all of that gets in there. And then we are also adding in a little bit of tickled pink. So this should be a pastel pink. I'm just gonna scrape out my little corn cup here. And we'll give this a good mix with our stick blender, pour it into our molds, and then repeat the same process four more times. Enjoy the music. Right, guys I'm not gonna lie to you that was pretty tedious but I'm ready to go ahead and mix up the soap frosting I'm really pleased with the colors on this I think it's gonna look great and uh, yeah when I'm ready to start frosting and stuff we'll come back after this quick commercial break all right guys, let's go ahead and frost our popcorn soap. Now, I did let this sit up far longer than any of the other frostings I did this month, and it's still coming out runny, so whatever to that. <laughs> And now it's time to add all the popcorn embeds. Tell me that doesn't look just like microwave popcorn. <gasps> Shelly did such a good job. We had to do so many color tests to get this right. So I am just gonna put one across the top of each bar and then I will put one on either side. And I'm trying not to push them too far in because I really want that popcorn texture 
to be super noticeable on top. Like I want to look at the entire thing and someone know immediately that that's what it is. It could be that I have to lighten up the frosting a little bit so that the popcorn pieces stand out, but I don't know, it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so now with a little bit of extra soap frosting that I saved, I am going to drip different colors onto the top. So this is supposed to kind of look like the candy coating. It is pretty thick, which is what's keeping it in such neat lines. So I'm really, really happy with that. And I'm making sure that every single bar is getting covered really well. And this first pass that I'm doing is a little bit thicker, a little bit more purposeful. And then I will do some quicker drizzles that will kind of leave that sticky candy look. All right, so now for the thinner drizzle, the spotty, it's a spotty drizzle. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with the pink. It's like birthday cake popcorn. Have you ever had a popcorn ball that like has sprinkles and white chocolate and all the fun drizzles and maybe even some candy on it. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for here. Now this would be faster if I had put the drizzle in a piping bag, but because I had a pipette that I had already used, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and make good use of that. But with the bigger batches, it would be worth it probably to use a piping bag. Okay, now for the quick drizzle, we'll go the other way for that. Amazing, and now for the final touch, we add a little bit of glitter. This is silver holographic eco glitter from Brambleberry and cake glitter from The Good Glitter. This was definitely the most time consuming of all the batches that I made this week, but I can tell you, I personally feel like it was the most worth it. I love the gourmet popcorn shop feeling. I feel like this would be a really fun thing in Malibu to have like, I don't know, maybe near the beachfront or something so you can get your fun popcorn, go sit next to the beach. I don't know, I'm thinking about if Barbie would go here after school to the fun popcorn shop and I think she would. Or because, you know, she's a baker and a chef and she's good at everything. <laughs> has like 18 different careers, maybe she's the one that makes the popcorn and opens up the shop. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick spritz with some rubbing alcohol, and then we're gonna let it sit for 18 to 24 hours. We are done with pastel popcorn. Ah, the time has come to cut this precious loaf of soap. I am so pleased. It turned out so good. The only thing I'm gonna change in the future is the color of the frosting on top, mainly because of the embeds. You can barely see them. Let's pull out one from the middle. <gasps> yes, yes, look at the layers, look at the top. Oh, I love it. It smells like sweet sugary candy popcorn. Oh, I'm taking one of these bars into the house with me, it's mine. Now these bars are gonna look a lot more uniform because it's layers and stuff, but I'm still just so delighted with it. I'm just so delighted. The question of the day is, what's your favorite kind of popcorn? You like the candy popcorn? Do you not like popcorn? Are you a, a butter popcorn in the microwave fan like me? Do you only get popcorn at the movies? I wanna know all of your popcorn wildest dreams. Wildest dreams, ha uh ha. -huh. Do you like it? How do you like the drizzle on top? Let me know down in the comments below. I try to respond to as many as I can. If you do like the soap, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my small business grow. I'm really, really happy that you're here. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Those are the two other like main platforms that I'm using. You can also follow me on Pinterest. If you wanna see my creative brain clicking away and what I'm thinking about, Pinterest is a good place to go because I'm always pinning ideas for future soaps and collections. 
collections. In all of these videos, I will be linking my hair clips, um, my shirt, and anything else that I'm wearing, my Pura Vita bracelet, um, this is James Avery, all the stuff, I'll try to link it for you down below, uh, my lip color. I'm using the Lizzie McGuire look on my eyes today. It's from ColourPop. Everything will be linked down below for you guys in case you want any of it. I'll try to link any background props as well. Um, I purchased some of them, and let me tell you something real quick before we leave. Um, this right here is a puzzle that my little sister Penny bought me for my birthday, and she actually, let me show you this, did the whole puzzle and got it framed for me. Like, this frame is super big. It costs her quite a bit of money. I was really quite shocked and grateful. She's so sweet and such a gift giver. I'm going to hang this up in Holiday House, but uh, yeah. I know I get chatty in these outros. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited and happy today. Anyways, have an absolutely royal day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whatever that may be. Also, if you have made a soap recently that was like inspired by um, one of my soaps or you started making it because you watch royalty soaps or something, tag me in that because I really would like to see it. I realized on Instagram the other day that there were so many things that you guys had shared with me that I didn't even see because of an Instagram setting that like I didn't know about. So re-tag me in those so that I can see them and like them and compliment you on your successful soap making. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Yay!